Good evening, everyone. Game three of the Fear of the Hop tournament is here. We have Dysart versus Pueblo High School. As we get the starting lineups for the Dysart Demons. Number one, Nate Morales. Number two, Easton Carlton. Number 10, Bo Curtis. Number 15, Nigel Anderson. And number 21, Lamar Anderson. And now you have the Pueblo Warriors. Number three, Jacob Maya. Number three, Jacob Maya. Six one guard. Number four, Anthony Carranza. Number 10, David Hernandez. Number 10, David Hernandez. Number 12, Jorge Franco. Like he said, number 12, Jorge Franco. And number 23, Jesus Marquez. And number 23, Jesus Marquez. The Warriors, they're going to be a little bit different this year. One of their top players transferred out. So this is a bit of a new look team, but Jacob Maya. One of the key players coming back, 6.4 points per game, two assists, two rebounds. Anthony Carranza, 7.1 points. And then for Dysart, this team finished 22 and seven last year. One of the better teams in the 4A playoffs. Um, Nigel Anderson last year, 10 points per game, two assists, eight rebounds and three blocks. Nate Morales, 13.8 points per game, 4.6 rebounds. Lamar Anderson, six and a half points per game. Uh, this team is really, really talented, and I'm really excited to see them play. This could be a good game as tip-off is about to begin. Demons get the ball, and they push early. That's going to be number 21, Lamar Anderson, with the first few points of the game, seven seconds in. Pressing, though, already with Curtis and Anderson. As Pueblo gets the... Their first two points, that's going to be Jorge Franco, one of their taller players, a 6'3 senior. As Curtis brings up the ball, 5'2 sophomore. There's a reason he is out there, quick shifty guard. As Anderson, he's going to get into. Anderson's going to get into Anderson, that's going to be an offensive foul on Anderson as Pueblo gets the ball. Pueblo inbounds it. That's Carranza with the ball. Curtis trailing, floater. And that's going to be a pretty floater. Dysart gets the ball. Curtis bringing it up. He's going to kick it out to Morales. Morales drives. Nothing there. Out to Anderson. Back to Anderson. Off his foot, Pueblo gets the ball. And that's going to be Carranza again with it. This Pueblo team coming from the down south. They're not wanting it to be just a one day trip. They're looking for something. Carranza gets it back. Marquez to his right. He's gonna, Carranza's going to stop for an ISO with a smaller Curtis on him. He kicks out. That's Maya for three. No good. And that looks like it's going to go to Dysart as Marquez was trying to get that rebound. Nigel Anderson, the 6'4 four forward, he's going to bring it in to Curtis. He's going to bring it up. And a steal there. That was Anthony Carranza again. No good. He gets his own offensive rebound. He kicks it to Jorge Franco, 6'2 Pueblo. Anderson, no good, gets his own rebound. Does he get fouled, put to the line for the first time today? Nigel Anderson gets his first free throw to go. Anchor defensively is what their head coach told me, 55% from the field last season. 
as he makes the second one, one of the staples for this team for sure. It's a full court press is out for the Demons as Lamar Anderson's in there. Carranza's gonna break it, pass it, no good. Franco no good again, Anderson's gonna get it and he's pushing. He's got Carlson to his side, foul, no good. Lamar Anderson's gonna go to the line. Lamar Anderson, 6'3", six, 6.5 six points a game last year, 3.3 .3 rebounds, was an honorable mention for his region last season, 47% from the field. No good for the first free throw. So we got our first substitution of the game. Easton Carlton coming out, number 23, Tishon Lewis is in. And short again. Curtis in on that rebound. Miscommunication between him and Morales. He's going to get it. Drive kicks out to Morales. Morales driving. Smooth layup. By Morales there. 14 points a game last season. Carranza is going to get it. He's looking around. They're going to dish it out all the way down. And that was Maya looking for David Hernandez. No good as number 23, Tishon Lewis was in on that deflection. Pueblo ball still. Curtis in on the steal though. He's driving with Carranza on him, gets blocked. And a foul will be called. As Curtis, the 5-2 sophomore, he's going to the line. Again, this team was extremely talented. This Dysart team last year lost in the quarterfinals to eventual 4A champion Peoria. As Curtis makes the first one there. Curtis misses the second, 7-6. As Pueblo gets the rebound, that's Maya. He's looking. Interesting layup, no good. Block there. That was Marquez not doing anything. Morales, travel call. He's going to stay with the Warriors. This game is off to a hot start. A couple of fouls. As Pueblo already has three fouls on them through three minutes. Carranza's got it. He's looking with Curtis on him. Goes out to Maya. Carranza again. Gets a screen by Ballesteros. Marquez, top of the key with Anderson on him. Back to Carranza, who's got Curtis now. Carranza tries driving, nothing there. He looks, pump fake, floater, nothing there. Carranza gets his own board, floater. Nothing there again. And that was Lamar Anderson to Nigel Anderson. Nigel's running the lane. And there's going to be a charging call that time on Anderson, his first of the game. Pueblo inbounds it. Carranza's got it. Out to Maya. No good there, that was Marquez. Morales going the shifty guard between the legs with the smaller defender Carranza on and that's gonna be a turnover for Dysart as number 20, Caleb Williams. 6'2", Junior is in now. Morales will take a seat. Pueblo's got it, Carranza looks inside. There's a bit of a hand up between Ballesteros and Marquez as Curtis looks to the line. He's looking, nothing there. Anderson, big forward, drives a lane, tough layup, nothing there. Carranza 
He's going again. Pushing the pace for Pueblo. Float or nothing. Anderson gets it. As Anderson drives the lane, he's going to kick it out. No good. But Tishon Lewis is going to the line. Dice are going to get a couple of substitutions. Looks like Jordan Garcia is coming in. And he's going to be coming in for Bo Curtis. A little bit more size out there now for the Demons. With a 6'4", Nigel Anderson, a 6'3", Lamar Anderson, a 6'2", Caleb Williams. And a 6'4", Tishon Lewis to go with Jordan Garcia, the smaller guard, 5'9". A lot of length out there for the Demons. Pueblo trying to do something. Carranza gets it, top of the key. That's to Marquez. Maya tries bringing it inside, nothing. Steal though, guys on the ground. Anderson gets it out to Anderson. He kicks it out. Tishon Lewis is gonna drive. Baseline, that's out to Garcia. Garcia pulls up, nothing there. Pueblo gets the rebound as Carranza. The main ball handler, it seems like, for this team is going to try to capitalize and put more points up for the Warriors. Maya, top of the key. Trying to drive, pull up, nothing. Garcia gets the board. And now you got Nigel Anderson bringing it up. And a blocking foul. That was Lamar Anderson in on that layup tent. No good. He's going to go up to the line. Shooting two once again. 7 6 here, 214 left in the first quarter of game number three of day one here at the 20th annual Fear of the Hop tournament for the Signature Network, the home of the Fear of the Hop tournament for this week, all 32 games. We'll be on here as we get a substitution. That's going to be number 33, Kai Brown, the 6'4 senior. He's coming in for number 23, Tishon Lewis. Excuse me, Kai Brown. He's in, for the, is in right now, and Tishon Lewis comes out. Anderson makes it six, nine to six, excuse me, for the Demons. Low scoring affair here in the first quarter. Carranza looking. Maya out to Carranza. That's Hernandez. Gets blocked by Brown. Nigel Anderson is pushing. Drives past the defender. Layup, nothing. Brown up, nothing. Carranza's going to get it. He's got Caleb Williams on him. And a bucket there. That was David Hernandez to tie this thing back up. Lamar Anderson now bringing up the ball for the Demons. Anderson drives the lane. He kicked it to Williams from Anderson to Kai Brown. Back out to Nigel Anderson. Nigel driving the lane with the left hand. Gets the tough layup. Puts the Demons up by two. One ten left here in the first quarter. Carranza gets it. He's looking tough layup, and he gets another one. Carranza. Carranza doing it himself right now. 11-11 between Pueblo and Dysart. Anderson, he's going to look. He found Garcia. Williams looking out to Brown. Anderson, pull up three. Money. Lamar Anderson. Gets his seventh point on the night. Tough pass. Carranza's going to get it. Nigel Anderson's on him. And he's going to bring it back out to Maya with Lamar Anderson on him. Lamar's playing good defense. He's looking. Drives the lane. Nothing there. Tough layup. No good. And that's going to be red. Jersey ball as Nate Morales comes back in. 
And that's going to be Lamar Anderson coming out. 18 seconds left here in this first quarter, 14 to 11 for Dysart. As Nate Morales, their lead point guard, back into the game, brings up the ball. Shot clock is gone. Morales looking, looking. He's going down the lane. Another tough layup by the shifty guard for his fourth point of the night. And Ochoa puts it up, no good. Excuse me, that was Carranza. Still no good, 16 to 11 here at the end of the first quarter. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and be back for second quarter action. To most people, it's just a flashlight. But to Gettle customers, it's a beacon, lighting the way to total home comfort and peace of mind. And when that flashlight comes on, our values shine through. We'll respond right away and get the job done right, always. From complex plumbing and sewer repairs to picture-perfect AC. Good evening and welcome back for the second quarter of Dysart and Pueblo here at the 20th Annual Fear the Hawk Tournament on the Signature Network. The exclusive home for this entire tournament all week long, 32 games through five day days. It's gonna be a good one. And so far we have a good one here between the Pueblo Warriors and Dysart Demons, 16 to 11 for Dysart. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube at the Signature Network to stay tuned for everything going on this week. It is definitely going to be one to watch. Pueblo gets the ball. It's Anthony Carran Carranza gets the ball. He got that from Aiden Cruz. Carranza driving out to Cruz. Ochoa, he's going to get it. Out to Hernandez. Hernandez pulls up from three. No good. And that was... That was, excuse me, Aiden Cruz in on the dish. To Aiden, uh, yeah, what a great play. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> As we have Dysart now back with the ball. Kai Brown looking for Nate, Nate Morales. Nothing there. David Hernandez with the steal back to Carranza. Hernandez gets it. Carranza. The ball, Kai Brown on him. Pull up mid-range, no good. Brown's gonna get the rebound. And Morales. Euro step. And it looked like a Don't really know if it was a travel or a foul, but it is now Pueblo ball. Pueblo inbounds the ball. That's Ochoa. Hernandez, Carranza's got it now. He's driving floater, no good, air ball. As number 33, Ballesteros is trying to get in on that as Morales now brings up the ball. He's got Carlton, 4-3, no good. And it's gonna be Pueblo ball. Trying to get the jitters out trying to get the dust off with game one for both of these teams this season. Hernandez to Ochoa. Steal by Dysart, Morales has it. He's looking around, nothing there. He's gonna kick it to Curtis, pump fake, pull up. And that's cash money for Bo Curtis. Great shot by him to put the Demons up five. Hernandez got it to Ochoa. Ochoa's got some defenders behind him. He stops on a dime, and that'll be Carlton getting the foul there. Nigel Anderson comes back into the game. He's coming for Kai Brown. Big man for big man. Still a five-point game here for Dysart. You got Tishon Lewis in on the pass as Ochoa gets it with Curtis. Gets the steal again. Morales, he's driving to the lane. Easy layup for him, seven point game now for Dysart. Nate Morales, first team all region last year. So we're gonna get a travel call here on Ochoa. Demons ball again, we yeah, got back to Morales for a second. First team all region last year. Just about 14 points per game, four and a half rebounds, four assists, and three steals. Definitely one you want to have on your team. So he gets the ball into Anderson, Anderson's looking. And it's gonna be 
a foul on Anderson. Look like a closeout foul of some sort. As she's going to now come out of the game, and Caleb Williams is now going to come back. Carranza gets it to Balaceras. He's going to get it back. Curtis now on him, trying to get another steal. As that it was Aiden Cruz with the air ball. Hernandez gets it, no good. Ballesteros out to Carranza. Puts a nice move, floater. And that was a tough layup by Carranza there to make it a five point game. Tough pass. Tishon Lewis trying to get it there. Trying to get it to Caleb Williams, no good, as we're going to see Lamar Anderson come back into the game. And he's coming back for Easton Carlton. Excuse me, Nate Morales. Pueblo is going to inbound the ball. That's Aiden Cruz. As we're going to get a timeout now on the floor by Pueblo. And we're going to stay here, folks. Got a good one so far, 514 left in the second quarter. Be sure to stay tuned for the final game of the night, which will be right after this. It's ALA Gilbert North versus Queen Creek. It'll be a good one with the reigning champs of this tournament last year, um, who put on an absolute show throughout the entire week last year, beating some of the best teams in the state. They'll be back in action with Dylan Novak and Owen Bell. But right now, Dice are up five, 20 to 15. Right now, you got Easton Carlton out there, Bo Cruz, or excuse me, Bo Curtis, um, Lamar Anderson, Tishon Lewis, and Caleb Williams for Pueblo. You have David Hernandez, Aiden Cruz, Jesus Marquez, Anthony Carranza, and Juan Ballesteros. So if the ball comes loose, Two guys fighting for it, and Lewis gets it. Williams pushing. Carranza now on him. He's going to kick it out to Anderson. 4-3. Money. Demons needed that one. Up eight, 450 left in the second. Carranza gets it. It tipped away by Curtis Hernandez. Just about got hit here, folks. But <laughs> I got my director. Diego inside me, we just about got run over, but we're all good. Um, as it looks like, Dysart is going to get the ball here. Curtis in the backcourt to receive the ball as we're going to see Jacob Maya come back into the game for David Hernandez. So far, Lamar Anderson been one of the better players in this game. 10 points of Dysart's 23. Feed the ball to the hot hand as Carlton gets it. 4-3, no good. Rebound by Cruz. Marquez now has it, kicks it off to Carranza, who's been in the entire game, I believe. Puts a spin move on Curtis, goes nowhere. Cruz has got it. As Caleb Williams gets it. Gets the layup, puts the Demons up 10, 4-14 left. Carranza pushing, and a foul. Waiting to see who it's on, if it's on Carlton or if it is going to be on Lewis. And it's going to be on Carlton for a push. He's going to go to shoot for two. Carranza been one of the Better player so far as he makes the first one for this team today. He's been the main ball handler, creating a lot of opportunities for the Warriors as he makes the second one, making it an eight point game. Curtis gets the ball now. Four minutes left. Curtis out to Lewis. Lewis is going to attack. Nice floater for him, makes it a double digit lead again. The size is coming into play now for Dysart. As Carranza gets it, gets trapped. Curtis with him. Lewis now, he's looking. Caleb's gonna trail. Gets the big block. 
Great job by Caleb Williams there. Sprint down the court. As we get a substitution here, Nate Morales coming back for Bo Curtis. Pueblo's gonna get the ball on the baseline. Aiden Cruz gets it, kicks it. To Marquez, back to Carranza. Tough pass there, Carranza's looking, gets soft double team by Morales and Anderson. Carlton now on Maya. Maya looking back to Carranza, six seconds left in the shot clock. Cruz puts it up, no good. Morales gets it, he's got Caleb Williams. On the break, great pass by him to make it a 12-point game. Dysart starting to feel it now. Maya looking, got Belliceros in the back. And a tip ball from Lewis, and that's gonna stay with Pueblo. So we're gonna get a new sub here. Number 13, Avion Bailey. He's coming in for Caleb Williams has had a Really solid game, just being really active. He's got four points on the day, but really active defensively as well. Maya looking, moves back to the side of the key, back to Marquez. Carranza's getting it now with Morales on him. He's gonna go back to the top, set up the offense, 10 seconds to go in the shot clock. Back to Marquez, Cruz back to Marquez. Steps out of bounds, it's gonna be Dysart ball. Great zone defense there by Dysart, making Pueblo a bit uncomfortable. Back into their possession, two and a half left in the first half. Kurt, excuse me, that is Carlton. Gets the foul though, he's gonna go to the line of shooting two. two. Excuse me, he's gonna go out of bounds. Be an inbounds foul. Morales though, had the layup there, no good. Carranza's got it now. Ooh, Bailey in on Carranza, trying to bring a little bit more defense at the guard position, a little bit, be, a little bit more physical, so we're gonna get another substitution. Kai Brown in, he's gonna be coming in for Tishon Lewis. Jacob Maya passing it into the backcourt for Carranza with Bailey on him. He's gonna go right, Bailey making it really difficult. Tough defense, Maya's gonna get it, Morales on him. He's gonna try to make a move, nothing there. Charging call on Maya, Dysart ball, 2.04 left, 12 point lead for the Demons. Kai Brown setting the back screen, Lamar going, and it's gonna be a blocking foul Lamar Anderson, though, falls to the ground hard. He's going to take a couple of seconds to get back up. Kai Brown helps him up. Looks like he landed on his back there. Tough break for him. He's going to go to the line of shooting two, trying to make this a 14 point lead. Shooting for the Demons is number 21, Lamar Anderson. Just short there for Anderson's keeping in a 12 point lead. We're gonna get a substitution as Jacob Maya is gonna come out and Thomas Vallejo is gonna come in for Pueblo. Anderson misses the second one. Kai Brown on the hustle. They're gonna get the ball back. Morales driving, great move. Bailey in the wrong area. It's gonna be another turnover for Dysart as Pueblo is not gonna get the ball. 150 left in the second quarter.
Carranza. Now he's got it back again, excuse me. Belisteros set the screen. He's got Bailey on him again though. Looks to give you another charging call on Carranza. That's gonna be his second of the night. Still a 12 point game here. Great defense though again by Dysart to get the ball back in their hands. As Avion Bailey brings it, bringing it up. Morales on him, shifty pulls up. No good, Carranza gets the rebound. He gets past Carlton, he's gonna drive. Puts up the layup, fouled. And he's gonna go back to the line. That's gonna be on number 13, Avion Bailey. His second of the night, fifth on the team. Carranza misses the first. That's gonna bring in a substitution here. It's Jordan Garcia is coming in for Nate Morales. Carranza is gonna go back for the second free throw. Gets that one, makes an 11 point game. Bailey gets the ball. He's looking up court. He's got Carlton there waiting. He's gonna bring it back. Drive. Bailey, no good, gets blocked. And another tough possession for Dysart. They're now pressing Hernandez with the ball. And another tough call on Dysart. That's Carlton again. That'll be his third. We're gonna stay right here, 52.4 seconds left in the first half. Lamar Anderson has been the story of the game so far. 10 of the team's 29 points. They're up 11. This team again, really, really physical, great defensively. And that is why, that has been the story for them, honestly, of, what, of why they've been winning their game making Pueblo pretty uncomfortable, not being able to make a lot of shots. Um, but it's been a lot of the inside the paint game for both of these teams trying to get a, get a couple of layups. And ball movement has been a big story as well. Been a little bit different from what we saw in our first two games if you tuned in. As Hernandez is gonna get to the line of shooting two. Hernandez misses the first one, still an 11 point game. Make sure to subscribe to the Signature Network YouTube channel for all the content. As Hernandez makes a second, making it a 10 point game. But yeah, make sure to stick around for the last game of the night between ALA Gilbert North and Queen Creek. Kai Brown, he's gonna try to pass to Garcia, no good. Pueblo ball again, 45 seconds left. Hernandez inbounds the ball. That was Vallejo. Vallejo's gonna pick it to Ballesteros. Back to Hernandez. Kicks it back out, trying to go to Marquez. Another charging call though on the team, on Pueblo, excuse me, on Hernandez. Carlton giving up his body. And that has been the story, honestly, defensively for Dysart is just making this Pueblo team really, it's making them really hard offensively to get a bucket as Dysart's gonna inbound the ball, full court, full court press, excuse me, by Pueblo. Kai Brown's got it now. He's gonna kick it to Anderson. Anderson's looking at Bailey. Bailey gets it. Back to Brown, outside to Carlton. Carlton for three. Cash money, great ball movement there with the full court press, made it look like it was nothing. Dice are up 13, 15 seconds left. Trap, there, Carlton's got it. He's gonna go out to Bailey, Bailey for three. He's gonna get the nice little touch. 
from the rim, making it a 16-point game. Six-point swing with the last couple of seconds. And that is going to take us into halftime. Easton Carlton and Lamar Anderson making this Dice Art team really tough to play. They're up 35-19. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. We deliver the answers to your questions by building a plan with you that is always available to you through your own personal financial website, where you can see your complete financial picture and how you are tracking towards meeting your goals in a simple, clear, easy to view way, allowing you to check in on your progress anytime, anywhere. And we'll stay with you along the way to keep you pointed in the direction of your dreams so you can focus on everything else. Together, we can build a plan for your financial life. Let's get started. I feel like binder's ready. And we need more snacks. I did some research on that roller coaster permit. We can't do the roller coaster with the loop because of a height restriction. I just needed to go fast. You can loop underground, right? I'll call the excavator you like. Can you order me like 400 more of these headphones? All right, sounds good. Thank you so much. Put this in my fridge. I got you. We need a name for this. Can you put this in his fridge? Tyler wants the recording studio on Wednesday. Got it. The pencil test is ready. Just email it to me. 25 seconds. Name! Peachy Weechy? No, he wants to loop underground. Ron. Think we can do this? Uh, pretty sure. Wait, somebody's recording in here on Wednesday. Wait, what? Light binder should be ready, but stand back at least 15 feet. I'm gonna stand 10 feet. Five seconds. Thank you, five seconds. Shades! Go! Needs more work. Yeah. Sounded great, though. Quarter break, half break, whole break, A. Hey. Ford has been a part of my life for my entire career. Big wave surfing takes a lot. You need the right equipment, the right team. It's like stepping into the ring with a monster. You have to be prepared. Sometimes all you need to change your life is a sign. Like an actual sign that's like above you. And no, I don't love B-dubs just because I'm a buffalo with wings. Frankly, that's offensive and reductionist. It's like they made beer into a place and gave that place sports and chicken wings. And the people, the best. Marty! You're dead weight! Yeah, this place is kind of like heaven. You know, without needing to get hit by a bus. Let's go sports bar! Eric Henry. Hey, Jake from State Farm. I saved so much bundling, it inspired my workout. Auto! Home! Okay, and this is auto again, right? Auto! Hey, this is my living room. Home! Bundling, just another way to save with the personal price plan. The dog isn't allowed on the couch, Derek. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back for second half action of Pueblo versus Dysart here at Mesa High School, the 20th annual Fear the Hop tournament. Right now, Dysart up 35 to 19. Lamar Anderson's been the story of the game so far, leading the team with 10 points. A lot of charges by Easton Carlton has really set this Pueblo team up for failure when they're trying to drive to the lane. And Dysart just extremely, really, good, extremely good defensively. Excuse me. And uh, that's been really the story of the game so far. You know, with Nigel Anderson, of course, being a little bit of foul trouble too. Nate Morales coming in and out of the lineup. 
You know, I think Easton Carlton, Lamar Anderson, as well as Caleb Williams coming up big defensively a couple of times has really been why this team is winning right now. And for Pueblo, Anthony Carranza, one of the main ball handlers, he's been having a really smooth game so far too. Hasn't really been able to get a lot of his guys involved. They've been trying to move the ball around a lot and nothing's really just hitting right now. Let's see if they can get someone going, but down 16, it's definitely going to be interesting. But with, with Dysart, 22 and seven on the year last season, they were one of the better teams in 4A. They're looking like one of the better teams in 4A again so far. So I'm very excited to see how they come out in the second half. But yeah, that is all for right now. We got Pueblo Warriors and the Dice Star Demons coming back for second half action after this commercial break. It's go time. Time to tackle the toughest AC and plumbing problems out there with more than 80 years of ghetto knowledge and expertise. Flashlights? Check. Diagnostics? Check. Roger with the booties? Roger that. Today, there's no pipe that can't be repaired, no water heater that can't be replaced, and no AC installation that won't be picture perfect. Because day or night, Gettle's got this. Gettle, we do things the right way, not the easy way. It's go time. Time to tackle the toughest AC and plumbing problems out there with more than 80 years of ghetto knowledge and expertise. Flashlights? Check. Diagnostics? Check. Roger with the booties? Roger that. Today, there's no pipe that can't be repaired, no water heater that can't be replaced, and no AC installation that won't be picture perfect. Because day or night, Gettle's got this. Gettle, we do things. I come from a family of mechanics. I was the only girl in the shop. A vintage Ford Bronco was my dream car. I knew I wanted to restore it myself and I wanted to get my hands dirty, so that's what I did. And I hope other women see my passion for cars and want to follow their own passions too. Second half action is just a minute and a half away here at Mesa High School for the 20th annual Fear the Hawk tournament on the Signature Network. I'm Parker Garash, welcoming you back for the third quarter between Dysart and Pueblo. 35 to 19 for the Demons. Lamar Anderson's got 10 of those points. Um, he's been an absolute bucket getter for them. Easton Carlton has been another staple, sacrificing his body, having three charges called on Pueblo. So they really, Dysart really tried to settle in and then become the basketball team I think they were last season, going 22 and seven for Pueblo. They just gotta get more guys involved. Anthony Carranza has been kind of the story as far as that. I'm just trying to get, as a lead guard, trying to get more into his role as this is their first game as well. But yeah, definitely gonna be a fun second half to say the least. And uh, yeah, we definitely got a good one here between Dysart and Pueblo. As you hear the buzzer, that means the game is about to begin again. Second half action here again at Mesa High School. A 
Again, make sure to subscribe to the Signature Network YouTube page. This is going to be the home all week long for this awesome tournament with a lot of talent. we got a teams from Hawaii and Texas playing tomorrow against some of the better teams in our state. So we've got another good one after this for game four, the last game of the night. It's going to be ALA, Gilbert North, and Queen Creek. So make sure to stay tuned for that one. That will definitely be one to watch with the reigning champs back on the court. Dice is going to get the ball here to start. Second half, we got Bo Curtis getting trapped. Morales gets it, drops to the lane, kicks it to Nigel Anderson. Lamar Anderson gets it on that. And Lamar, excuse me, yeah, Lamar Anderson now going to the line. And that was on number 12, Jorge Franco. The 6'3 senior, one of the taller guys on this team. A lot of size and physicality here for Dysart. Anderson makes the first one, making it a 17-point game. He sinks it again. She's got 12 points on the night so far. Maya into Hernandez, getting trapped back to Carranza. Carranza gets a tip by... Morales, Curtis ends up with it. He's going to bring it up. Shifty guard blows past Carranza. Morales got, gets it. He's looking. Anderson's got it now at the top of the key. Kicks it out to Nigel Anderson. He's going to go try to drive the lane. And it's again going to be on Jorge Franco. Ball's going to be out of bounds for Dysart as you get a sub and Jorge Franco out. And Juan Ballesteros in. Carlton looking. He's got Morales there. Morales, smooth move. Tough layup, though. No good. Marquez with the rebound. Back to Carranza. He's going to bring it up the court. With Curtis on him. Curtis making it hard for him to get past half court. Man, I've been impressed with this kid's intensity on defense, making it extremely hard for Carranza to do really anything. Hernandez has it now, kicks it out to Marquez. Marquez tries to bounce past it. Morales gets there. Easy layup for him, 20 point lead now for the Demon, seven minutes left in the third. Maya now has it. He's looking for somebody. No one there. Back to Hernandez. Hernandez bounces it to Carranza. Carranza looking, getting trapped by Carlton and Anderson. Hernandez pulls up. No good. Ballesteros there for the easy layup. Put back, 18 point lead now. Morales looking. Carlton's there to push the pace. Morales with a smooth move into Nigel Anderson. No good. as Carranza is going to bring it up now. Kicks it into Ballesteros. He's looking. Gets Maya. Carlton on him. Carranza now. Looked inside. No one there. Carlton has it. Morales behind the back pass. No good. Not what she wanted to do on a fast break. And he's going to come out immediately for Caleb Williams. Pueblo now is going to get the ball. Carranza, excuse me, Maya looking. He's got Hernandez. Ballesteros looking for something. No one there. Marquez back out to Maya. Maya's looking at Carranza. Carranza, nothing there. He tries driving. Curtis makes a tough floater. No good. Caleb Williams gets it. He's going to push it. Looking out. Curtis back to Lamar Anderson. Out to Carlton. Carlton, deep three, money. 21 point lead now for the Demons. With Lamar Anderson almost getting the tip. Hernandez out to Marquez. Back out to Hernandez. Back to Maya. He's at the top of the key. Bailey on him. 
and no charging call. No problem. Jacob Maya gets the lay in. Now you got Bo Curtis bringing it up. Blows past Carranza again. Anderson for three. Cash money again. He's got 15. And the full court pressure is just making it tougher and tougher for Pueblo to score. Carranza, he's looking. Great job by Hernandez there, pushing the lane as Carlton is going to bring it up. Not waste any time. He's going to go in floater. Gets it to go back to 22, four and a half left in the third. Maya looking. He's got Marquez. Hernandez kicks it to Ballesteros. Back to Marquez, floater no good. Lamar Anderson though tries to do a Euro step, no good, charge. And it's gonna be Pueblo ball. As it looks like we're gonna get two substitutions here. Jordan Garcia and Tishon Lewis back into the game for Easton Carlton and Bo Curtis. Pueblo inbounds, Maya to Hernandez, back to Maya. Carranza's got it, Carranza drives up. And that is number 35, Angel Huerta. But Carranza now has it again with Williams on him. Another tough foul there on Williams, reach in. Dysart still up 22. As Maya's gonna inbound the ball here, Carranza's gonna get it with Williams pressing on him. Not making it easy for him. A lot of ball movement there. Hernandez ends up with it. Nice jumper there from the free throw line. Lamar Anderson's now got it, the leading scorer of the game. He's gonna kick it to Lewis. Looking for Nigel inside, off the foot, and it's gonna be a foul there on Lewis. That is gonna be their third in the quarter. Still a 20 point lead for Dysart. Jab step there by Carranza. He's gonna bring up court with the lengthy Nigel Anderson on him there. Bounces it to Hernandez. Hernandez looking back to Carranza. Great pass inside from, to Hernandez, to Maya. No good though. As Maya ends up with it after a tip with Williams on him. Trying to get Carranza to get the screen, no good. Carranza's gonna go back to the top of the key with Williams on him. William, uh, Carranza crosses over, out to Maya, pump fake, drives the lane. Defender on him, no good. As Marquez tries bringing it in. And that is going to be a foul on Marquez. Dice our ball. 2.56 left in the third quarter. Anderson's going to bring up the ball here, though. Again, if you're just joining us, Dysart red, Pueblo white. Garcia for three. Anderson tried getting the putback dunk, wasn't there though. Carranza's gonna push it up. He's looking at Hernandez, nothing there as Anderson and Garcia tried pressing him. Hernandez with Nigel Anderson on him, bounces it inside to Huerta. Huerta gets it out to Carranza. Carranza's gonna bring it back outside of the three. Williams with him, tipped. And he gets a steal, and it's going to be out of bounds. Pueblo ball. Returning for the Demons is number one, Nate Lamar Anderson's going to come out, and Nate Morales is going to come in. Kai Brown is also going to come in. And Caleb Williams is going to come out for the Demons. Up 20s. We're going to get another substitution here. Jesus Marquez out. Aiden Cruz back in for the Warriors. Morales trying to make it tough on Carranza. Maya had to look elsewhere, got Cruz though with Anderson on him, tipped. 
Still white ball. And that's going nowhere. Hernandez gets it though. With Garcia on him, Carranza's got it back. Morales gets switched. Lewis and Carranza gets it over the big fella. That's a three-pointer, 17-point game, 47-30 now. Morales, smooth crossover out to Kai Brown, out to Garcia. Garcia's gonna bring it in the corner. Lewis for three, that's short. Huerta ends up with it out to Carranza. 140 left in the third quarter. Carranza's gonna get it. And it looks like he stepped either out of bounds or it's gonna be a foul. It is gonna be a foul on Huerta. Look like a moving screen possibly. Another substitution in though. Carlton in and Tishon Lewis coming out. 132 left in the third here at Mesa High School. Morales kicks it to Garcia. Garcia into Anderson, out to Carlton. Carlton no good with Cruz on him. Out to Hernandez. Hernandez is going to give it to Carranza, and he's going to bring it up the, ball, up the court again. Kai Brown on him, the 6'4 senior. Switched Morales now on him. Huerta with Brown, out to Carranza. Carranza for three, no good. Carlton's got it, he's looking, got Garcia. Tried bringing it out to Morales, no good. Tip ball by Pueblo, Carranza's got it, he's pushing it to Jacob Maya. Maya looking. Good defense by Brown, tip ball by Anderson, it's gonna be Dysart ball. And Huerta, again with the steal, back to Pueblo. Hernandez drives the lane, and it's gonna be a charge on Carlton again. Sacrificing his body gets the Demons the ball back. No shot clock, 29.6 seconds left in the third quarter. Player control foul call number 10, David Hernandez. We get a substitution here. David Hernandez out, number 22. Skinner, who is not on my roster. Nineteen seconds left here, Morales at the top of the key. He's gonna push it out to Garcia. Garcia back to Morales. And he's just gonna wait this out. Screen by Anderson. He's gonna push it to the lane floater. Gets it to go up 19 now. Carranza trying to get a last second shot. He does no good. Demons up 19. Heading into the fourth quarter. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Stay tuned on the It's go time. Time to tackle the toughest AC and plumbing problems out there with more than 80 years of ghetto knowledge and expertise. Flashlights? Check. Diagnostics? Check. Roger with the booties? Roger that. Today, there's no pipe that can't be repaired, no water heater that can't be replaced, and no AC installation that won't be picture perfect. Because day or night, Gettle's got this. Gettle, we do things the right way, not the easy way. Fourth quarter about to get underway here at Mesa High School at the 20th annual Fear the Hawk Tournament. Got a good one here. Dysart showing a little bit of dominance as the Demons are up 19 against the Pueblo Warriors. Carranza been in the game the entire time besides the last couple of seconds of the second quarter. He's gonna kick it to Cruz. Cruz back to Carranza. Carranza gets a screen from Huerta back to Maya. Maya almost traveled there. He gets it to Skinner. Carranza pulls up. No good. Morales with the rebound. He's looking for people, looking for the screen. Nigel Anderson going. And a charging call. 
Must have threw the elbow out a little bit. Couldn't really see it from here. Well, it's going to be Pueblo ball now. First 30 seconds of the quarter gone. Maya looking, nothing there. That's going to be a pass to Skinner. And a timeout is called by Pueblo. 7.18 left in the fourth. We got a good one to finish off day one. Here it has been an action-packed day at Mesa High School for the 20th Annual Fear of the Hawk Tournament. ALA Gilbert North, the reigning champs, and Queen Creek are up next after this. So stay tuned on the Signature Network for game number four. We have a great day tomorrow as well for you guys. A lot of great talent still to come on day two. And uh, yeah, 718 here left in the fourth quarter, 49 to 30 for the Demons. The size advantage was in full effect in that third quarter that really blew the, the game open for Dysart as they just continued to full court press and it was lights out from there. Pueblo though still trying to get back. Skinner gets the ball out to Maya. Maya to Carranza to Skinner to Cruz. Cruz is going to take it for a tough layup. No good. Morales got it. Gets it. Anderson there. And it's going to be a blocking foul there. Lamar Anderson back to the line looking for points, 16 and 17. Pueblo fouls coming on number three, Jacob Maya. That is his fourth, team's first. At the line for the Demons is number 21, Lamar Anderson. Anderson's 16th point on the night makes it a 20 point game here. Just short there, he's got 20 point lead now for Dicer at seven minutes left in this game. Carranza's got it with Curtis on him, putting some really good pressure on him. That's out to Skinner. Skinner can't contain it, Dicer at ball again. Curtis has it. He's going to push it. Looking. He's got Carlton there. Carlton to Morales. Morales looking. He pushes into the lane. Tip ball. And that's Franco back into the game. He gets a steal there. Carranza's got it. Pueblo pushing. Nothing. Finds Franco down low outside to Skinner. Skinner's going to look. And Carranza has it at the top of the key with the smaller Curtis on him. Curtis, excuse me, Carranza driving, foul. And a charge again. Carlton just becoming the charge master, planting his feet. Getting another foul on Pueblo. Checking in for the Warriors is number 35. Angel Perry. We get a, a quick stoppage of play just to clean up some sweat. Nigel Anderson's going to bring in a Curtis. Now back to Anderson. To Lamar Anderson. Good cross. Pull up jumper. No good. And they have full court press this entire game, and they are not stopping, even though they're up 20. Hernandez gets it to Carranza. Carranza's looking. He's got Franco there. No good. Hernandez tries to get the put back. Nothing. Carlton to Curtis. Curtis looking. Morales drives through. It's going to be a blocking foul here. Stay on the floor. It's going to be dice art ball foul. On number 35, Angel Huerta, it looks like. That is his second team's third. No good there by Carlton. Nigel Anderson's got it, though. He's trying to go. 
And he's going out, outboxed by three Pueblo defenders. Carranza's got it now with Curtis on him. Once again, 5.30 left in the fourth. Nice move there, cuts to the lane, gets blocked immediately by Lamar Anderson. Nigel's got it. He's gonna go to the lane, get the tough layup, put him up 22. Smooth move by both the Andersons there. As you're gonna steal here by Morales, making it 24, timeout Pueblo. 24 point lead, five minutes to go. And we're gonna go to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after this. Sadie is no ordinary guard dog. This pooch protects your home from heating, cooling, and plumbing problems all year round. Say goodbye to every late night plumbing leak and AC summer meltdown. With Sadie's guard dog protection program, Gettle's team of experts will always be right there, right away, to make sure that whatever can go wrong won't. Year round peace of mind, Gettle's got this. Right, Sadie? <laughs> Well said. Gettle, we do things the right way, not the easy way. I come from a family of mechanics. I was the only girl in the shop. A vintage Ford Bronco was my dream car. I knew I wanted to restore it myself and I wanted to get my hands dirty, so that's what I did. And I hope other women see my passion for cars and want to follow their own passions too. back for the end of the fourth quarter here. 5-11 left, 24 point lead for the Dysart Demons over Pueblo, Pueblo Warriors from Tucson. As Franco tries passing it, Morales lobs it, and Lamar Anderson just lays it up nicely to add to his total on the day. He's got 18. As Morales almost steals it again, Nigel Anderson there. Franco gets it in the backcourt. And Carranza is banged up a bit. And it looks like Anthony Carranza is going to come out and into the game. Jesus Marquez. Nate Morales is also going to come out too. Tayshawn Lewis into the game now. Lamar Anderson looking for someone, gets it to Nigel Anderson. Lamar, pull up, cash money again, making it 26 for the Demons. He's got himself 20 tonight. Curtis tries stealing it there, nothing there. Hernandez drives. And it looks like it's going to be dice our ball. Caleb Williams is coming into the game. Nigel Anderson is coming into the game. Or, excuse me, coming out of the game. And Victor Mendeville is going to come into the game as well. And Bo Curtis is coming out. Most of the starters out here for Dysart as they have a, a nice 26 point lead as Nigel Anderson gets it. Foul call and he's gonna go to the line now trying to get his seventh and eighth point on the night. So we're gonna get a substitution here once again. Everett Ochoa into the game the for Jacob Maya. 4-11 left here in the fourth quarter. As he made the first one here, Anderson's to go for the second. Gets that, he's got eight on the night, making it a 28 point lead now for Dysart. Really comfortable this entire second half. As Caleb Williams gets to steal, he's gonna push it. 
making it a 30 piece right now for the Demons. 62 32, 355 left. Ochoa can't get through. And a bad pass by Cruz, intended for Jesus Marquez. Easton Carlton coming out of the game. As well as Nigel Anderson in for them. Avion Bailey and Kai Brown. Reserves are in full effect for the Demons. But these guys are still making an impact on the floor. Kai Brown gets it. The physical big man getting double teamed right now. It doesn't seem to be a problem. No good though. That was Mendeville. As Pueblo gets a Hernandez out in the break to Ochoa to Cruz. Puts up a layup, no good. Caleb Williams gets it. He's gonna look down court. He's got Kai Brown. No good on that layup. Lewis got it, got it. no good there. Marquez has it, he's looking for a man. Got Franco, Franco to Cruz for three. No good, Kai Brown's got it. He's gonna push it up to Bailey. Bailey drives, blocked there by Marquez. Two and a half left in the third, fourth quarter, excuse me. 30 point game. Hernandez, no good. Bailey rebound, Dysart goes to Mendeville and nothing there. Another turnover for Dysart. We got another substitution in. Austin Henderson is intended to come into the game. His number on the on the Max Preps roster at least was number 42. <laughs> and uh, he is coming in wearing the number 30. So a bit of a miscommunication there. But he is into the game with a lot under two minutes to go here. Still a 30 point game. Marquez to Franco, Franco to Cruz. No good, Franco gets the offensive board, no good. He's gonna go to the line though, foul on Kai Brown. 130 left, clock is running. Foul's on number 33, Kai Brown, that is his first team spin. Shooting for the Warriors is number 12, Jorge Franco. No good there for Franco, still a 30 point game. As we get under a minute left here in the fourth. Good pass from Williams to Brown. 32 point lead now, 45 seconds left. Marquez has it, Hernandez back to Marquez. Great back and forth there, Cruz has it now. Tough shot, nothing there. Franco gets it, out to Ochoa. Ochoa looking, nothing there. Cruz, now Hernandez, Hernandez for three. No good again. Another offensive board though from Franco to Marquez, nothing there. And that will do it for this game between Dysart and Pueblo. Again, highlighted by Lamar Anderson. 20 points on the night in the 64 to 32 win for the Demons. For game number three of the first round of the 20th annual Fear the Hop Tournament. Next up, stay tuned for ALA Gilbert North and Queen Creek.
We will be right back after this commercial break. Stay tuned for the last game of the night.